Hello, this is Dwight Norris of FishingNetwork.com, and here we are again on the Charles River Esplanade, a little further up near the bridge next to the Community Boating Center. And today we're going to be working with this uh, along the lines with the, uh, try not to hook myself here, hold the phone, the Panther Martin Spinner. As you see here, I had the black and yellow, which I talked about yesterday during my live presentation on YouTube and I talked about how that's great for summer and fall bass and right now it's fall as you see I'm wearing my uh, my extra layers and it's pretty cool out here it's like uh, I think it's like high 40s maybe low 50s it's bearable I don't have my gloves on yet but it's pretty cool so I'm working in these areas right here next to the docks kind of shallow and trying to go further up toward and past that bridge for the further than I'm actually gone before and see if I can't find a good drop off. I know if I go all the way to those buildings over there, which is a museum of science, they have deep water holes and, and humps that go down a plus 20 feet. And I know for a fact that there's something there, but it's hard to get there from where I work. If I work a little closer, it would be my spot, but it's not right now. So. I'm gonna work this area quickly and effectively with this spinner and see what happens. I won't actually um, videotape myself doing it because that will slow me down. But if I get some bites or I catch a fish, hopefully I will let you know. So let the Panther Martin spinner test continue. Hey, I'm back again and look where I am. Somewhere new, where could it be? Okay, it's too bright. But right now I am under and I'm under the Boston Science Museum. And I know there's some deep water humps right out there. If you look a little closer now that the light isn't not in the shadows, you can see that, hey, there's that, uh, there's that bridge I was on the other side of. Now I'm the equal distance on this side. And I've been using this Panther Martin going around this whole, this whole corner here and seeing what I can get the bite. But nothing's really happening right now. The fall turnover, if that even happens in a river, it's kind of uh, abruptly hurt the fish. They just don't feel like moving, they'll hunker down, they're not biting, I don't see them. But I did notice one thing in the Charles River Esplanade is that the fact that the weeds have, I think they're almost 70% gone, like complete die off. It went down from 80 to 60 degrees and then it went from 60 to what now, I think last night was 30, and yesterday was a high of 40. So obviously that will make anything hunker down. I'm hunkered down, I got this jacket on, and I got another jacket under that jacket, and I got an undershirt under my shirt. Four layers, just to stay, uh, you know, temperate. But sooner or later, I expect the fish to start, you know, lighten it up, and the fall fishing will be on. You'll be able to be more free with your lures. You can work those fast lures. They'll be going after forage, i.e. bay fish from now on, which are moving fast. They're in schools, out in deep water. And you can use your buzz baits. You can use your spinner baits. You can use your crane baits. And you can just rip those things super fast. You can use those Rapala, um, the X-Rap, and all those long minnow type lures with the trebles on them, long, short, and just boom, pop them, rip them, make them pause, rip them again. It, that's, the action's gonna be on, it's gonna be on the top order, it'll be on the middle levels, and even deep, it'll be hitting too. And that'll be pretty cool. It's much better if you have a boat, cause you'll be able to follow the schools that you can see, going from the shallows to the deep, and the deep to the shallows, and really having some, some really great fishing. But. Right now in the Charles, it's not working for me. And honestly, it's not acceptable. But just to give you one last view what's what's happening here. Here's the old skyline. Here's me walking around. Here's the uh, here's the museum. There's no like sign of it, but it's that uh this uh this brown building all the way here. And then you have the rest of the Boston over here. And then behind this way is the ocean. And I could have just gone through this uh, 
little alleyway here. I'm actually going to show you the connection point. You can see the sign right here. That sign shows you that there's no wake zone going between the, uh, the Charles River Bridge that connects the Boston Harbor to the Charles River. And that's the peak point of brackish water, i.e. salt and fresh water. And it's probably the last time you'll see a largemouth bass. I do not believe they'll go past this point to do anything really. I mean, even chase oh, the herring, but never know. Um, eh. Honestly, if something else cool to see, I'll show you this Boston Duck Tours boat that's sitting here. That's also, they run this out of this Museum of Science in Boston. And you'll see those floating by right on this little this little river right here but yeah nothing else to really talk about phantom on the spinner looks super cool the gold spinner actually does stay visible when it's dark i went into the shadow over there when we first started this portion of the video and i can still see it from far away but the silver one nothing it's, it's hard to see and I think that's the reason why they say you should use that particular color spinner when it's dark so I'll just give you a quick peek across the river which is where I'm not going I'm just going around and back to work as quickly as I can so I can get back to work on time so right over here that little blue point is the other side and that is Boston Harbor and it goes out to all the docks and the boats and the yachts and to all the islands where you can catch some striped bass. And that will be my next adventure. But for now, I'm signing Actually, out. Actually, let's just uh, look down this uh, a better view of the uh, entrance point. That's Charles River that goes through here over this bridge I'm standing precariously on and over there, which is a great spot when a herring come in. When the herring come in, from this side to that side, you can just walk through that this little street right here, and there's a park there, and you can get some great action when the herring come in, and use uh, top water lures, uh, called plugs, and really light them up. So, just wanted to show you that too.